Hey, I thought I would make a new recipe here since we are, you know, all staying home a bit these days. So I thought I would try and make this delicious recipe that I have had. Let's see, I ripped it out of a magazine in June of 2015. And I'd be happy to give credit for the recipe, except it says issue 111, June 2015. But nowhere does it say which magazine. So credit to whoever's recipe this is. But I thought we'd give it a whirl. These are strawberry shortcake bars. So they're like strawberry shortcake, but in a bar. I thought it would be so yummy. I mean, look at that picture. Let's see if mine turn out to actually look like the picture. <laughs> so let's give it a whirl here. I've got my favorite little mixer here um, and we will start. We're gonna make the uh, base for it first. And then um, the, the once it's cooked, with, has a base of cookie crust with some jam in the middle and then bake it. And then when it comes out, then we'll do cut it into squares and serve it with the fresh strawberries on top, um, like a strawberry shortcake. So I will get started here. We're gonna start with two cups of flour. So a good old shake and scrape method here into the cup and I'm just gonna scrape it off right back in to the bag here. So there's one. And we go here, two. This is official measure plan here. There we go. Two. Into the bowl. And then, calls for quarter cup. I love the flat, the sugar in these poor containers. This is ba Baker's sh uh, sugar, so it's a little finer, white sugar, but it's just easier to pour and to store. So it's my favorite. So there's a quarter cup of sugar and one tablespoon of baking powder. So I have it all out here in front of me trying to be organized. So of course I have the measuring spoons. Half of the measuring spoons. There it is right there. One tablespoon. So we'll put that in. And a half a teaspoon of table salt, which I could measure that, but I'm not going to because the crook in your hand is about a teaspoon. So one shake, half a teaspoon. And that's the beginning of that. How loud this is going to be when we turn it on. Mix that up a little bit. And then I have my butter. I already cut it in one stick of butter, unsalted. I always use unsalted. But I put it over here in the freezer. I'll be right back. So that it would stay nice and cold. It could be all I got re uh, ready to shoot this. So here's our one stick of butter cut up into little squares. And we will start that going till the dough is crumbly. Once that is going, the next thing, it calls for four ounces of white chocolate. And the recipe actually said don't use chips, but that's what I have, so that's what I'm gonna use. And four ounces is about a half a cup. So we're just gonna go here with a half a cup of white chocolate chips. And it should add a whole little layer of flavor into the base of this dessert. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. So I'm sure it's a little bit loud while we mix this. I'm also, I also, I have the guard from my KitchenAid here so we don't make a storm, but I'm making a storm. So the next ingredients we're gonna add once this is, is mixed up, one cup of diced fresh strawberries, which are here behind me, and the um, white chocolate chips. We're gonna add a half a cup of heavy cream. I'm actually gonna use bu uh, buttermilk because that's what I have. One egg half a teaspoon of vanilla and three quarters of a cup of strawberry jam we're going to put in the middle of this. Okay. Well, I think that's how they do it on TV. They don't make you watch it while the thing beats. Oh. butter plenty cold. It's gonna be a minute while we 
Wait till the dough makes little pea-sized balls. Kind of like watching grass grow. Watching water bo uh, bo uh, boil. Watching little pea dough-sized dough pea balls get made. I've already put all my pink stuff. It's getting there. Oh good. I have a live studio. Oops, wrong way. I have a live studio uh, uh, audience here to today for my video, my cameraman. Um, I already prepared my pan. I greased uh, the little Pyrex here and put parchment in so that it's easy to get out of the pan. Par uh, parchment, great, greatest invention ever. I use it for everything. And then I greased the parchment somewhat so it'll come out. I think I have flour here coming and going. So now we're gonna add the four ounces or half a cup of white chocolate. We're gonna add one cup of strawberries diced which I have over here okay one cup diced check throw those in there and we will mix this again turn this on real quick and then we're gonna add half a cup here. Then we're going to add here a half a cup of buttermilk because that's what I have. The recipe calls for half a cup of cream, but I never met a recipe with buttermilk I didn't like, so we're going to use this. Half a cup buttermilk. And then I'm going to get one egg out. When the dough is coming together and turning a beautiful shade of pink, I'm going to turn this off for a second and crack the egg in. One egg in there, check. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla. Got a teaspoon of vanilla in here. My favorite, of course, is the Costco vanilla. It is so uh, yummy. It has a great flavor. And of course, comes in a big package. One teaspoon. I'm gonna put that in there and let it mix up. And then we are gonna be ready. There we go. Ready to spread this in the pan. So let's take this and we are gonna spread this in the pan. We're gonna do half of it and then put the strawberry jam in the middle and then do the other half of it. So I'll just scrape off the beater here, right into the pan, mostly because it's right in front of me. Okay. And here we go. I have a spatula here and we're gonna take half of this dough and put it in here. Here we go. And by the way, it's the first time I've tried this recipe, so you never quite know. But I figured I would take you on the journey with me as we try this first recipe. What's your favorite strawberry recipe? We have so many beautiful strawberries here with so many fruit stands right around us, which is where I went to get the strawberries to our local fruit stand. We have beautiful pro uh, produce available at our fingertips that just came right out of the ground. It's really amazing. I'll show you how beautiful these strawberries were. Okay. Okay. Got that in there. Now I'm gonna take some strawberry jam and put it in here. 
spread it around a little bit. Make this as easy as you can on yourself when you're spreading around. I guess you might me measure this, but it calls for three quarters of a cup. I'm just gonna put some in enough that I can spread around in the middle layer. And we'll be covered here. Three quarters of a cup seems like a lot to me, but we will see how this works out. Just spread the jam in the middle and then we're gonna put the rest of this dough on the top. Oh, it smells so good already. Yummy strawberry yumminess. I'm using an offset spatula, another great tool that has perfect for this kind of a situation where you're trying to spread something, especially in a pan that's lower. So there we go. I think that's good. See, we've got the jam spread around in there. So now we're gonna pat, this says pat the dough, but this dough seems a little wet for patting. So we are just gonna put it on in there. I'll put it kind of in sections because again, I need to spread it over this jam. see how these white chocolate chips do in here but they're going to add an interesting twist into this recipe yum okay here we go spread away and I'm covering up the jam that we just put in the middle oh this looks so delish Whenever you're baking, you wanna try and get it as even as you can so it cooks evenly in the oven. So I think we've got it filled up to the corners here. Jam is covered up. White chocolate chips, ooh, they're gonna be delicious. We've got it smoothed out there. Okay, looks good. And I'll show you real quick how beautiful these strawberries were from the farmer's market. Look at these. These are actually from the fruit stand. Yummy. Okay, then we preheated the oven. And so it is ready to go here. So we are gonna take our strawberry bars and put them in the oven. And I will be back to show you once they're baked. Okay, we're gonna move on and make the topping um, our base, uh, star, the strawberry shortbread bar base came out of the oven and this is what it turned out to look like. Yummy. This is the shortbread bottom with the strawberry jam in the middle and ah, smell of vision. It smells awesome, just like fresh strawberries. So now we're gonna make the topping. So the topping that um, goes in this, we're gonna puree three quarters of a cup of strawberries, which we are gonna eyeball here and put three quarters of a cup to make a strawberry puree and then we're gonna cook it with a little cornstarch to make a syrup that we're gonna put over in this bowl here. I have some strawberries I've already prepped that are ready to go. So I just need to cut a few more here and get them ready to puree. These I don't need to cut as necessarily carefully as the ones we're gonna use on our topping. And how cool is my little machine here. How many of you have an Oster uh, blender still? Since I've killed two, bu two bullets, which they're awesome too, but I have two dead ones and I don't have a new one right this second. So I'm going old school with the Oster. Oh, I have Irish soda bread in the oven here. So it is digging at me. So hold on a second while I take this out. Here is the Irish soda bread that I have cooking for dinner. That right there. Looks yummy. Okay, back to strawberries. Okay, here we go. Cut a couple more of these and throw them in to make our puree. You know, get one more in there. And I'm probably gonna need a little bit of water to puree it old school instead of in the bullet. So I will get a little bit, put a little water in there and let's 
make some strawberry puree. There we go. Works great, just like it always has for what, centuries? Well, maybe not cent uh, centuries, maybe decades. So we're gonna pour it here into our saucepan. And into that, I'll turn the heat on here. I'll turn it on low. And into that, I'm gonna put a quarter cup of sugar. These strawberries uh, are fresh out, out, out of the field, so they're very sweet. The, the recipe called for a third of a cup, but I just put a quarter cup, because I think it's plenty, because these strawberries are so yummy. And then we're gonna put one tablespoon of cornstarch in it. it thicken up and then we're just going to heat it until it starts to get thick and bubbly and that is going to be like a glaze for this recipe and then once that comes to a boil and thickens up and it coats the back of a spoon then we're going to let it cool and we will pour it over our strawberries here that are ready to go for our topping. So we'll cut this base, cookie base we made, the shortcake, into squares. And then we will use our strawberries. We're gonna take our topping here that we are gonna heat up and make a thick syrup out of this. Let it cool, put it over the strawberries and uh, let it sit until we're ready to serve it. Then we'll cut the squares of the shortcake Put the strawberries on top and then a little fresh whipped cream. Of course, always make whipped cream from scratch. Just have to, that's just in my world. If I'm gonna eat whipped cream, it's gonna be homemade. So put a little whipped cream, a little strawberries on top, and then voila. In a perfect world, it's gonna look like this. Delish. So thanks for watching and we will see you next time. If you have any comments or any recipes you wanna try together, then let me know and we will make them. You heard of Martha Stewart, Julia Childs, <laughs> Beef Bourguignon. This is Lisa Scheffler. Look at this. She had the recipe and she makes it just like the picture, <laughs> except it's better. Because ladies and gentlemen, when you don't have whipped cream, what do you do, Lisa? You get you what? Improvise. And what was the improvise? Ice cream. Improvise? Well, well, we had ice cream. We had yeah. ice cream. And so tomorrow we have to go to Orange Theory because it's good, people. Your grandmother, your mother, your uncle, your husband. They're all going to love this dessert. Yes, so, strawberry shortcake in with a shortcake bar. And how did you make the bar? It was delicious. We layered the, the batter in the bottom with some strawberry jam in the middle and then another layer of batter on top. Bake that with fresh strawberries in the in the shortcake. And then here we are with the fresh strawberries. So can a novice like me make this? Yes, even you can make, can make this because you can read because too. Because wait, I think, no, but wait, you have to show them this. Yes. You see this? Yep. She made it right here. Yep. Didn't you know I can really scrub the pan? That's right. Parchment. Yay. Paper is the best tool. <laughs> this is a working woman, a chef, Julia Childs. Bye-bye. Lisa's here.